Javier Garza gave a talk about deploying journalists in fairly risky environments. Can you tell me a little bit about what characterizes those environments? Uh, well, it's basically a risky environment in the sense that there is high criminal activity. So uh, the, the situations where you put reporters in crime scenes, which can be target of uh, criminal groups. And, and what sort of things can happen to your reporters? Uh, well, they can get kidnapped, they can get caught in a crossfire, uh, they can get uh, threatened uh, by armed persons. It's the, the different kinds of uh, threats that they can, uh, they can look. So we have to try to assess each possible scenario and take safety measures accordingly. And what sort of things can you do about it? How do you prepare? Well, you can, ju you can uh, try to figure out what can happen. Right? I mean, what would you do if you get caught in a crossfire? Right? What do you do if a reporter gets kidnapped? What do you do if the newspaper building gets shot at? Uh, and try to develop different responses according to each of that each uh, scenario, right? How do you contact security forces? Uh, how do you raise an alarm? Um, how do you start looking for a reporter who goes missing, etc.? So, why do you actually do it? Why do you work in this environment? Well, because it's a service to the community. I mean, we have to let the community know what's going on in the city. Is, uh, what's, what crimes are going on, uh, how violent the city is, and we have to cover that. Javier, thank you very much. Thank you, Simon.